Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you are watching Leveling Up with Benjamin uh, Banks. And joining me, as always, are my co-hosts from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Rebellious underscore underscore D23, and Trav the Trash Man Marin. How you fellas doing today? Bro, you just blocked my man from taking a sip right there. Yeah, man. Hey, my man ready was to ready rock. to take a sip. He was doing the old yep. hell, yeah. He Trav, said he I was reading the defense. I saw him. He put the drink right back now. The D was like, <laughs> sir. He said, you come here with your, your right. John 316. Hit you with that Omaha. Bible. Omaha. Oh, he like, rebellious 316 said, I just whooped your ass. Everybody mm -hmm. here for him? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, guys, what's good, man? Uh, we are reviewing episode six of Titan season three, Lady Vic. And uh, before we get into today's episode, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell button. So that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Podcast in the description, like, follow, subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching. Yes, it yes, is. Yes. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. Man. Hey, Trav, I ain't gonna give it to him yet. <laughs> I ain't gonna give it to him yet. Yeah, <laughs> another Trav, thing. <laughs> Another thing I want to say too is that this is the first time that all three of us have been up here for Titans. You know, Trav, mm -hmm. we've been doing mm -hmm. it, and then me and D, we did it last week. Mm -hmm. And now it's hey, it's just like Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. All Robin together. Girl, you mean Robin Girl? Robin, Robin Girl. girl. Mm -hmm. uh, he said Robin Girl has a, a nice name. Oh, Jesus, uh -huh. because they was Robin. Uh -huh. Robin place. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was just like, yo, what is up with this uh Selena Kyle thing that you got going on? And she's just like, Hey, I well, thought it was Selena Kyle at first. I did I was like, Hell yeah. yeah. I did yeah. too. But yeah, there's only one cat burglar usually. So. Yeah, they put the they pulled the okie doke on you. Yeah, but one did. but one thing I want to touch on that is that she knew that Bruce and Dick were Batman and Robin. And she wasn't Batgirl yet. She was mm -hmm. just she was just Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Okay. And uh, you know, I, I like that they did they show like that uh what happened six years ago before yeah. you know where they are now and also too and stuff also mm -hmm. too you know at the start of the episode you know you get the cops they in the diner they celebrating their mm -hmm. anniversary <laughs> that was, was like, cold i was just like something is cold. about to happen man. Cold this, open. This, no it, reason it's no, no reason. reason for it you never nope. see that much lovey-dovey stuff on titans and when you do something bad always you already happens. dude you already knew something was going even if this oh, wasn't yeah. titans if a oh, movie yeah, for sure. yeah come on no. open up like you know you Somebody ain't going to cancun smoke. they ain't yeah, sipping on no, no margaritas hey well, do yeah, not you... collect 200 dollars and please do not pass go uh -huh, but you see how badass lady Vic is man and it's like just throughout the entire episode we also see that you know during the flashback that uh you know the reason why she wants to get revenge on them is because they killed her partner you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so well um, she did it but, well she yeah. did it yeah but you know it's just uh it's one of those things where you know you do something in the past and it comes back and it gets you i mean like yep. that's how titans has always been um i also like too how jason is kind of but his know, place he, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like he wants to do his thing, but Scarecrow's just like, no, I'm trying to do my thing. And <clears throat> bro, that that ending where you see Jason and he gives the thugs the the mm, gas yeah. and like yeah, they end liquid up with courage. Yeah, and then like they go up inside of the restaurant, then they end up killing Tim's dad. Well, we don't know if he's dead yet, but right, you know, but uh, because I know. He does get injured in the comics and like he's still alive, but I kind of feel like that they're gonna kill his dad. They're gonna so, kill him off. So that sure. way, so that way, this is what leads to Tim becoming the next Robin because he wants to get revenge. But this mm -hmm. just see the person that Jason has become because it's like we know who Red Hood is. We know that he's a vigilante that uh, he doesn't condone crime. He, he kills criminals, but he doesn't condone it. So it's just interesting to see him give this fear this fearless gas to these thugs and just watch them go inside and shoot up the place and he's just sitting there not doing anything d what was your take on all of that um i loved it i like the this whole uh scarecrow versus uh jason that we're probably going to end up getting at some point mm -hmm. i'm curious at this point are we going to get are they going to keep scarecrow without the mask costume is he just going to be you know the person and not the the character if you will so um I like the episode. I like the season, man. A lot of fun. Trav? Yeah, no, I agree, man. Um, yeah. 
It makes me wonder, though, with them introducing, like, Tim Drake and maybe him getting, like, a, a role as the yeah. season ends slash next <clears throat> season. I wonder if they're going to continue doing that and, like, bringing in, like, Steph Stephanie Brown mm, or that's something. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, it's definitely a possibility just based on all the characters they've given us thus far. You're right. Yeah. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. But the real question is if we, you know, if this gets another season, are they going to stay in Gotham or is Tim going to join up with them? Like, how do you think that's going to work out? You think, if they, do you think that they might go back to San Diego? Bro. I mean, I mean, I that's know. their head. I mean, yeah, Man, but I'll it's not. Yeah, go ahead, Trump. No, I want them to stay in Gotham. I know that this season has revolved a lot around Batman, mm -hmm. and maybe I'm just such a Batman fan, but uh, I, I like this direction, bro. Like, well, I, I, mean, like I like it. it too. I love, I, like I love seeing Scarecrow without his persona. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like in Batman, I've always been a big fan. As far as like comic book heroes, Batman is like top three as far as villains go, mm -hmm. if not top one. I mean, Batman's got some iconic yeah, I, villains. Yeah, he does. I can't think of any. Yeah, series that's what I'm saying. As a whole, that has better villains. Yeah, oh, not I in agree. Batman. I agree. That, yeah, so it would be fun to see them um, explore those avenues, but. I don't know. I like the storytelling, the way Me they too. do split it up. So I, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now, so. something I wanted to touch on, which was a badass scene, was when they tricked Barbara into coming into <laughs> Crime Alley. Mm -hmm. And when she shows up, because she thinks that Bruce is back in town and it's Lady Vic, and then they end up having that fight. Like, I thought the choreography was badass for that fight, man. Oh, yeah, no question. It just goes to show you, it's just like, hey, even though I'm in this wheelchair, I can still whoop your ass. You know yes, what I'm correct. saying? Um, I'm pretty sure Lady Vic didn't expect that either. No, no, and um, I don't know about y'all, but I had a little bit of a uh, jigsaw kind of feel, bro. I thought the people in the pig mask was gonna show up, <laughs> her ass is wheeling around. I was all, oh, but here we go, wheels, wheels, yeah, and is, the X Men. Hey, what did they, what did they call you, Will? The crossover uh, we wanted. Uh huh. That's exactly what we wanted. Yep. Now to uh, also touch on because we get um a side story with corey blackfire and uh connor and yes. like they're they're trying to you know find out stuff about the crime bosses and whatnot and we end up seeing that one of the doctors she has the same bomb on her chest that hank had right. and connor was able to save her and mm -hmm. i like the the distrust between starfire and blackfire it's of like course. you know she still doesn't trust, she still doesn't trust her sister even though her sister doesn't have any powers but i want to ask you guys this do you think that uh there's something between connor and blackfire trial no. no connor's too i don't want to use word. yeah yeah i mean again he's got a childlike mindset so he doesn't even know what they're talking about bro when they're no. making all these sexual things he he don't yeah. Yeah, he think it with this head not with um, this one, buddy. Hey, take that, it that's yeah. all we know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that she may be trying to use herself because, uh, yeah, because, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Starfire get supercharged by Connor's yes. eye beams? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, he was about to kill somebody. I can't remember who he was about to kill. Yeah, or she was going through the whole thing where her powers are malfunctioning. Yeah. It was one of those, but you get where I'm going with this. I think she may be playing hey, on that or it may like be something that. that she does later right. to manipulate him seeing how he's like a kid basically like Trav said yeah i like that, i didn't even think about that i didn't that's think about take. that either that's yeah, a hot that take is right a good there. take yeah because that God. is exactly how she got her powers uh functioning again mm -hmm, um, so. and it's something else too you know we really didn't get a lot of gar in this episode but yeah. the moments that we did get with him they were very impactful because and he let dick know yeah he yeah, let dick hey. know and he, he called him like, racist. i, I, he I said, Look, don't bro. trust you right now man because it's just like you went out there to those woods and it's just like, were well, you going to kill Jason? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's it's interesting for uh, you know him to think like that, and he has every right to think like that of because course. we because we see what Dick did before when he used Slade's son. You right. know yep. what I'm saying? Well, so, also too. Yep. Dick and Hank, like they came up together, and they're in that age bracket. Garth and um, Jason, they're in that age bracket, yeah, and they kind of had a bond at them. Yeah. And so like. If Dick was like, I'm going to murder Jason because he killed my boy, it's only acceptable that Garth is like, hold on, because that's like his kin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think it's... 
Mm. Go ahead, D. No, I was just going to say the other thing, too, is that this isn't the first time that uh, Grayson has messed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like, look at how long Garth has stayed behind him the whole time, bro. He was usually the only one. And I was like, yo, bro, you need to slow down. You need to chill. I agree. And to piggyback off of what Trav was saying about Mm -hmm. Hank, because Hank wanted to kill Jason, too. He was just like, yo, we need to take him out. Like, he's he's a problem, and he's out here killing people, and Uh we need to do this. And even though the other team mates were against it, it's like Dick was kind of in the middle. He was just like, no, we need to figure out a way to save him. But after, you know, Jason killed Hank, you know, I can understand why... All cars are off the table. Yeah, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can understand why... Dick Bro, I kill him that, too. But, yeah. I still, but I, mean, I don't think yeah. Dick's not a killer, though. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, we saw what happened when he had that uh, vision when Trigon had made him kill Batman. Right. You know, yeah. and, he, and he went down that dark path. So it's like, if this was the old Dick, then he would have did it. But since this is new Dick, he's not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. a sentence that's what, what a sentence said. that was that's what she said but, uh, oh, but all in all really good episode uh d what are your final thoughts and what rating do you give this episode i'm gonna give this one a solid seven nothing nothing crazy um can't look i i can't wait to see the next episode uh I want to see Gar. I think that gar is gonna start moving into the spotlight more and more and i mean you can see it so can't wait to see what happens with uh, the Connor and uh, Blackfire is probably what I'm looking forward to. And the Scarecrow versus Jason. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Trav? Yeah, I agree. Solid seven. Um, it's so crazy, man. I see people online and it's either like, you really like this show or you think mm. the show is garbage. Love it or hate it. Dude, mm, it's one wild. of these shows, man. That's wild. I don't think it's, I don't think the show is bad. It's and not it's at all. The one thing before, um, we finish yours up and go to banks it's like it's crazy because usually you would want to see a show oh, let's see them in tokyo next season or wherever right but mm-hmm. it's like i wouldn't mind seeing them in gotham another season to be honest with you i think that it just it has all the characters that can pull it off and stuff like that yeah, but, bro, yeah. If, they, if they stayed in gotham for the whole season i wouldn't be mad yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i wouldn't understand gotham the entire season but <clears throat> i do want them to move somewhere else after the season i mean Unlo- it's because it, i mean honestly too i mean like most fans that you know grew up watching titans it's like of course they know slade they know uh i would like to see brother blood that's that's the mm. next season that's right. what i want to see i yeah, want to see the judas that's contract take. That's what yeah. I want to see next right. season. You think and, they'll do- but but the only thing with that is it's like I kind of feel like do you need cyborg for the Judas contract or not? Man, I don't think you need. You could use whoever you want as long as it's Titans related at this point. And yeah. Brother Blood is a big villain for them, yeah. so yeah. it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, yeah. I want to know you if they're going to bring the Red X too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, bro, I didn't even think yep. about that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, for me. Uh, I thought it was an amazing episode. I thought that it ended with a banger. I'm glad that we got to see Tim Drake again because, you know, we did see him and I believe it was the either first first or second. Yeah, the first. It was was the first or second episode. But it's like as soon as I saw him, I was just like, okay, you know, Jason is going to continue being Red Hood. And I I see Jason just uh, after this season wraps up, he's just going to be on his own. Uh, We might see him end up with. uh, Ravager, I'm mad. I can't remember Slade. Uh, is it Rose Wilson? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see them linking back up again and just forming their own team because she doesn't like Dick either. And mm-hmm. uh, I see Tim becoming the new Robin as part of the Titan. So um, for me, I give this episode an eight because I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week either. So let us know in the comments what you thought about this week's episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were there any references or Easter eggs that you caught that maybe we missed? Uh, let us know in the comments. D, let them know where they can find you at in social media land. That's going to be rebellious, double underscore, D23, Instagram.com. Like, follow, subscribe to the channel once more. And thank you for watching. Trav, take it away. Hey, that's right. You can also find me on the Instagram at ZK Audio. Then you can head on over to the Twitter and catch me at T-R-A-V-I-O-S-C-K. And of course, man, as always, where are they going to find podcast number one hero at? You can find me at Harold Benjamin Banks at King Benji underscore Banks 
on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching this review. Make sure that you check out some more of our reviews, interviews, and reaction videos that we do have here on the channel. And also check out our podcast where we drop new episodes every Tuesday with the video of that episode on YouTube that Friday. Like I always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure that you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content on our channel. Make sure you check out our podcast where we release new episodes every Tuesday and the video of that episode is uploaded on Friday. And you can find new episodes of our podcast on all podcast platforms. Make sure you follow all the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks social media accounts at Leveling Up Banks on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, we have a Patreon. If you're feeling generous and would love to donate to us, it's at Leveling Up Banks. And huge shout out to our patrons. We really appreciate you and thank you for the support. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks.